I know at moment he's in the picture. Wednesday the 11th of August and um, so it looks like I am doing the Tough Mudder on Saturday so yeah I mean like literally it's a few days away um, I've not really trained for it at all at all um, <clears throat> would I have done anything different in terms of training I don't know actually because you know I have been working out quite well you know like four days a week doing lots of strength training I probably would have incorporated more hit style stuff like so like box jumps and burpees and um, things like that and probably would have worked more so on trying to get those pull-ups and upper body strength going um, but it is what it is so um, I have decided that today will be my last training session then I'm going to take Thursday, Friday is active recovery days um, and we're quite busy actually because uh, my son gets his uh, exam results tomorrow so we're going to, fingers crossed they're good, um, but we're going to go treat him to, um, we're going to do one of those water um, inflatable courses, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen them before, I'll try and put in some pictures, I'll try and take some pictures tomorrow, slot them in. So yeah we're doing this uh, water adventure course so it's like these massive inflatables in the middle of a lake um and you kind of swim out and you climb up um so we're doing that with uh all four of us are doing that as a family so we're doing that with him and then we're going out for he wants bottomless pizzas <laughs> so we're going to a place called bella italia and doing bottomless pizzas that's what he wants um fingers crossed he gets results otherwise he's paying for it uh with his uh, little job at dominoes um but uh yeah so we've got that tomorrow I've got the day off um tomorrow and then Friday uh we're going to Drayton Manor which is the theme park so you know needless to say there'll be a lot of walking around the theme park probably I would gather maybe 10 15,000 steps so still a recovery day but a little bit of an active recovery day um and then yeah I think the guy I'm doing it with Ian, he is picking me up at light between six and a half six on Saturday. I haven't officially changed my name on the tickets, but uh, I assume we'll do that there. Um, so I'm gonna take a COVID test before, so I will do that on Friday. Take that COVID test, you know that. Um, and get that all done. So yeah, it is happening, like big style. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm kind of excited kind of scared shitless um it is okay the things that are bothering me most or the things that i'm concerned about most so last time when i did it three years ago it was the quarter pipe so you've got to kind of run up and kind of cling on i did that 
three or four, I think it was four attempts last time, um, bashed my knees for the first two. The second one, I almost grabbed uh, my husband's hand and I, not enough. And then the last time, literally with, you know, literally fingered, I think he grabbed my arms here um, as I jumped. I just, and the thing was that after doing it the, the third and the fourth time, my because you have to run, like, really run up and then keep, keep running and kind of pounce at the end, you know, on, on the wall, otherwise you just slide down. Um, by the time I did it the third or fourth time, my speed, I was just tired. And I think it's like a good halfway through. So you've already done like 12 miles of running and lots of obstacles. So to then do that, it is tough. Um, so I'm worried about that. I am worried that there's only two of us and how we're gonna get over a nine foot wall. Last time there were six of us, so it made it easier. Um, I'm worried about that pyramid thing at the end because like you literally have to climb up like four or five people to get over the top. So yeah, uh, definitely a little bit anxious. Um, probably not so much about the going into the ice bath or being electrocuted because those weren't too bad last time, I don't think. It's weird because when I did it last time, I didn't know what to expect. Now I know what to expect. And I'm just like, oh, I think this is the last time I will do one. I don't think, I think once I've done it this time, it'll be done and dusted. I did want to do one again, just to, cause I am a lot fitter. I wanted to be, I didn't want to do it until I could do a pull up. Um, I still can't do that pull up yet, but you know, it's kind of just sort of jumped on me. So um, yeah, it's, it's happening. It is absolutely happening. Um, so wish me luck. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a run this week. I'm gonna decide not to do a run this week. I think I've done seven runs anyway. So I might try and do one next week, but I mean, I'll be running on Saturday anyway for 10 miles. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this week's run for, yeah, I think, oh, do I do one today? If I do one, I'll do one today. Otherwise I won't do one. I'll see how I feel about it. Doing one today. Uh, I just get that 5k run done. Um, but yeah, other than that, we are where we are. Um, I'm not going to do any more workouts. Like I said, after today, I've got my last pull day, and then going to keep it easy uh, food wise. Um, I am going to try and do a bit of a carb load on Friday just to get some energy for Saturday and then get straight back onto my normal diet once I get back um, just to keep that energy going I'll probably do quite a bit of protein on, on Saturday when I get back as well like recovery protein just in terms of muscles and stuff because I think it is tough um, so yeah let's see how that goes um, I went rock climbing on Monday so that was great and then we've got another session booked on Sunday so the day after tough matter so hopefully I'm all recovered and then there's no injuries um, for that so yeah otherwise all good all right catch you later I need everything at the minute at this at this rate. Yep, we're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm nuts. He's done this. Well, how many times have you done this now? This will be ten. 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 <gasps> oh my God, my second one, and it's probably my last, unless my kids make me do it again. Oh, you right. Oh, <laughs> if you don't see another post, it's because I'm dead. Just showered, 
just got home, showered, um, literally finished the Tough Mudder, so 10 miles, 2 hours 44 minutes, it was incredible. Uh, I'm well pleased with myself. Um, two things, I guess. I, I'm really pleased with the fact that I finished it. I feel great. I didn't fall asleep in the car on the way home because it's like an hour and a half away. I think it almost took us a bit longer. There was a bit of traffic. Um, but yeah, it was, it was incredible that I was able to finish it. It felt easier and I don't know how much easier it actually was or whether I was just a lot fitter. Um, I did do a bit of walking, uh, I'm not going to lie. The hills were a killer. I did, one of the obstacles was a hill climb and that was straight after the Arctic Enema, which is, um, you basically slide down this little chute into ice water and there's actual ice in the water floating about. Um, and then you have to come up, duck back under and come up again. Um, and that is like... Free, like, it's, it's just ice water it's just absolutely ice water uh, you get out of that um, and then you go up to this uh, killer gorilla hill I think hill climbs hill sprints and it was brutal so I did climb, I did walk most of that one um, it was tough it was very tough um, and then um, yeah I how much did I walk versus run I'm not sure, I have to check with Ian, the guy that I did it with. Um, I reckon we walked at least 25% of it, I would have said. Um, still ran quite a bit. I did run quite a bit. Generally, flats and downhills, I did run. Um, it was only when it was uphill or quite lumpy grass um, that I walked. It was, I did, one of my nemesis is where last time I did it was this, um, like, like quarter pipe uh, that you had to run up, grab hold of, climb over. Um, and last time I did it, I had four attempts. And even at the last one, I had two blokes, sort of my husband included, kind of halfway reaching down so I can grab their arm and they just pulled me up. Whereas this time I got to the edge and then the guy that I was with, kind of held my hand for one and I just had to get my leg over. Um, I have got like a couple of big bumps and bruises. Uh, I think this one's gonna come up as a big one. Um, but yeah, it yeah, it was, yeah, I was well impressed, well chuffed with myself. Um, in terms of timing or um, calorie burn, like literally that whole thing, I burnt uh, 1100 calories. Um, and even at the minute so far, I'm at like 2,300. Um, in terms of fuel, I had porridge in the morning. So it was an early start. I think I had the porridge at about six o'clock, um, six, quarter past six. We raced at, or we started at nine. Um, and I had an energy gel just before. I had a coffee. Um, and then around the course, there was a couple of hydration stands. Um, I think there was two, maybe three. There's three water stands, but I think there was two protein bar stands. So literally you got like a mini protein bar halfway through. So that was good. I did have a spare energy pack on me, um, but I never used it. I never needed it. I think it's still in the bag with all the muddy crap, um, which does need to go in the wash. I need to sort that out. Um, but you know, considering it's half past three, I'm at home, I showered. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take a nap. Um, I've got a bit of a date night with the husband. So we had kind of planned this ages ago. So I already found out about this Tough Mudder thing 10 days ago. So considering 10 days ago, and it was only until Wednesday that it was confirmed that they could do a name change on the ticket. Um, I didn't have enough time to train for it, to be fair. I think if, if I was, I don't think I'd gonna do it again. If I ever was to do something like that again, um, my biggest thing is running. I'm not very good and I'm slow. Um, I'd focus on that, I'd train on that. And it's hard because I've got plantar fasciitis, so I've gotta be careful with my foot. I did bandage it this time, which was good, and it did help because it didn't flare it up at all. Um, but it's just, yeah, I think I need to train on the, running aspect because that was the hardest this week um uh, today was the running um some of most of the obstacles 
right so there was three there was only one that i walked past and that was an inverted wall um and when i saw some of the blokes trying to jump up it was you know they were like six foot and they were still making a massive jump to jump up and then it's literally a pull up because it's an inverted wall so you got to like pull up and then slide down and like when i saw those guys struggling i thought like there's no way i mean i'm five foot there's no way that i'm going to get over that um even with help i could have potentially but there was only me and one guy so i i decided i just walked around that one that was the only one that i walked around out of the 25. um all the other upper body ones i did attempt um i failed at all of them as in i didn't even get past the first head there was one where you had to jump grab a hold of it swing to the other side um I jumped thinking that I had, you know, I was only like a few inches away. I know, apparently, you know, a good couple of feet. So, there was, you know, that it's not catered for short people. I'm only five foot one, so it is definitely not catered for short people. Uh, some of the monkey bars, again, they, they start off so high that you just don't get the momentum. So, I'm having to like do a massive jump to just, just, just to grab them. And then they're wet, they're muddy, um, and it, yeah, it just didn't end well at all. So, yes, I'm glad I did it. It was a brilliant achievement, and um, it was my second one. I think it was my final one. I don't think I'll do another one again. So, yeah, that's it for now. I think I've not made very many videos this week because I was going to, like, talk about this before doing it. But then it wasn't confirmed to whether whether I could do it. So it was a bit of, I'm in an R in. So I hope, I don't know if that was useful or not, but I do quite like obstacle style challenges. I do have one coming up on Saturday. So another week from today, uh, I'm doing one with my daughter. So that is a race for life, uh, 5K, pretty muddy. Um, so that'll be good. Uh, and it'll be a nice one for her, for me, I think. After doing this one, it'll be a bit of a walk in the park, but uh, I think it'll be great for her. I think she'll enjoy it, or she'll either enjoy it or she'll hate it. She'll never want to do something like this again, or she'll love it. We did a junior iron run, maybe, God, this must have been years ago, I think. She's 14 now, and she must have been about eight or nine when we did, we did a couple of those. I think we did it two years in the trot, um, and that was through like a gymnastics club that my son was in, and that was i think they enjoyed that i think so i think i hope she'll enjoy it i think she'll enjoy it um but we'll see so that's on saturday i will try and do another 5k run this week because i think i've done seven now so that'll be my eighth that'll be my final one um i didn't do one this week at all uh no just knowing that i had the tough matter plus we had lots of activity so we went to this um this water park place on thursday so today's saturday two days ago and it was a water park where you've got inflatables everywhere. So literally you sort of swim out, you get on these inflatables. It's like one of these assault course style inflatable things. Um, but we'd booked a double session. So again, that was like an hour and 40 minutes. I was knackered after that. Could have done with a nap after that one. Um, and that was the day of my son's GCC results. So that was a nice little day out with the kids. Um, they really enjoyed that i think my son really enjoyed that he's 16 my daughter's 14 so they really enjoyed that and it was a nice active day out um and then yesterday we we're at a theme park all day so lots and lots of walking um so it's been a busy week uh so i will try and do some more videos this week all right speak to you later bye